now the latest on October 3rd around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Well, the tropics appear to be dying today. Lorenzo, now a post-tropical cyclone approaching the British Isles and Mitag still holding on as a tropical storm on the eastern side of the Korean Peninsula. Day 276 of the year, 69 storms on the table so far. Day 124 of the Atlantic hurricane season, Lorenzo, as you can see, what's left of it, heading towards the European continent. In the eastern Pacific, day 141 of hurricane season here in Best 95E, still active at this point, that's out over the open waters. In the western Pacific, Mitag is moving northeast, will turn post tropical very soon if it hasn't already, end up towards the northern part of Japan. And in the southern hemisphere, there is no storms active at this point, it's all quiet here. Lorenzo's our only feature tonight, 75 mile an hour winds were given it and a pressure of 967 millibars. It is still some distance from Europe at this point. Now situated 555 miles from Cork in Ireland, 48.9 north, 20.1 degrees west. The storm is going to continue towards the northeast, past the coast of Ireland, and then eventually it will move inwards. Possibly we'll still have hurricane force conditions by the time it reaches Ireland, and then it will weaken substantially quickly as it moves through the rest of the British Isles towards the southeast. Here's a look at what Mitag's looking like on the wind shear graphics, as you can see, it's prohibitively high, and not much tropicality left of this system at this point. You can still see a lot of convection bubbling up over parts of Korea, but mainly offshore by now, um, where Korea has had a lot of rainfall really from this storm more than anything else, the winds won't have been up very much. Here's what the uh, North Atlantic wide shot is looking like right now. It's fairly quiet, really, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, there is still that disturbance over there in the Caribbean, which has a low chance of formation over the next five days, 10%. And you can see Lorenzo well off towards the north. So that's the latest in the Atlantic there. Not much else to talk about. Very quiet in general. Thankfully, about time. In the Eastern Pacific, this is what things look like here. Um, again, fairly quiet. Uh, just that invest that's out over the open waters. Uh, general disturbances that are still blowing up, really, over the central part of the Eastern Pacific. Uh, fairly low latitudes, uh, not likely to develop into nothing too significant. Models don't have anything forming, really, for a good week or so in the Eastern Pacific. In the Western Pacific, there could be some trouble brewing on long-range model runs. As we get towards next week, GFS has been consistent about a major typhoon that could move through the Philippine Sea towards Japan next week. Uh, but really, that's just speculation, and not much is going on in the Western Pacific Basin either. So the Australian region and the South Pacific has uh, that general thunderstorm activity still continuing over the Solomon Islands and out towards the east there, possibly affecting parts of Vanuatu as well and to the north of Fiji. The Indian Ocean uh, looking fairly quiet here as well if you flow up along the eastern coast of India earlier today, um, but really not too much going on, certainly not of a tropical cyclone nature. Sea surface temperatures look like this then, uh, around 30 degrees, just hanging on along the western coast of Mexico. Uh, same too for the western Gulf. And the western Caribbean is really the hot spot of the Atlantic, 30 degrees plus. You can still see quite clearly the Trail of Lorenzo there. Um, out over the Eastern Atlantic. I think that part of the uh, area, the ocean, will be off limits now for the rest of the season. Uh, looking at the Indian Ocean, fairly warm, 28 to 30 degrees. South China Sea warming up again a little bit too. And the Philippine Sea, a little bit cooler after recent typhoon activity. It's east of the Marianas where it's at, the hot spot of the Western Pacific. So this is what Mitag is looking like then in the latest images. Daylight has just broken there. Um, not too uh, impressive a circulation either, which appears to be just emerging now off the coast of Korea in those latest frames. Um, convection still blowing up quite a lot towards the northern side. Benefit of the doubt has been given as to it still being a tropical cyclone. I think it'll be gone very soon indeed. This is what's left of Lorenzo. A lot of the cloudiness starting to move through parts of Ireland, uh, which is also under a hurricane force wind watch and a high wind watch by Force 13 UK. You can find more updates on Force 13 UK's Twitter handle and on Facebook and YouTube. 
Uh, but here we are right now, October the 3rd, two, day 276. The next name on the Atlantic list is Melissa. In the Eastern Pacific, we're looking out for Octave. In the Central Pacific, the next name is Ima. In the Western Pacific, we're now looking out for Hagibis to form. And in the North Indian Ocean, next name on list 8 is Kiyar. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text and subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can find us on Facebook and Twitter as well, search Force 13 there, and you can contact us on any of those mediums. That's all for now, we'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.